We're going to talk about aligning the platens on your Amigo. So whenever the fixed platen is removed, that platen will have to be brought back into alignment with the back platen. So in order to confirm that it's in alignment, we'll have to check alignment first on the back platen so we can use the blade holder as a spacer to align the fixed platen or the front platen with the back platen. We're going to start by checking the alignment of the rear platen first. This is the platen that moves in and out. So we're going to raise the emitter up, putting it in splice mode. And then we're going to check the space in between the face of the back platen and the face of the emitter itself. Now that space should be around 414 thousandths and can be checked with a 414 thousandths pin gauge or a fixture like I've got right here. So I'm going to slide this right in place and I can see that the spacing is correct here. So I'll take this off and I'll check the other end and you would do the same thing with your pin gauge and if that's good then you're good to go. If it is out of alignment however there are five um, millimeter screws on either end that if you loosen, you can move this platen one way or the other. Once you get that spacing correct, you just tighten it in place and you're ready to move to the fixed platen to do the alignment process there. We can now align the front platen with the back platen. And in order to do that, we'll first put the Amigo in the cut load position. And then we're going to take the blade holder out and what we'll want to do is push our front platen up against it so it doesn't wiggle. Um, I've already loosened these side screws so I have that movement but what I want to make sure is when I'm pushing this platen forward against the blade holder that it doesn't wiggle around. So what I'll do is I'll find that place where it's not wiggling around and then I will lightly tighten this end. And then I'll take it down to the opposite end and do the same thing. Once I've completed that end, I'm going to bring the blade holder all the way back and I want to listen for any binding as it comes back down to the housing. And I don't hear any and I've confirmed that it's not wiggling around so I'm going to place it back into the blade housing before I tighten it back up. Um, one of the, what could happen if you don't put it in adjustment is um, you could have an uneven bead in your final splice or if the blade is loose enough you're not going to get a straight cut along the width of the belt. So now that I know I've got everything in alignment I'm going to tighten things up and you'll be able to operate your Amigo once again.